Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today is April 29. Um, hopefully, the session will be done soon. I've said on Facebook that uh, the Democrats should push for ending the session before the Republicans take away all of our rights. So today was a bad day for your rights in the Arizona House. We voted on uh, lots of different bills, including uh, three uh, basically voter suppression type bills. So more people than ever voted in 2020, and that's why the Republicans don't like it. And so they're doing everything they can to tamp down the vote, to knock people off the rolls, or to basically kind of bend the rules uh, to hurt certain populations. And so, um, one of the bills we heard today was uh, SB 1003. And now this is about um, messed up or illegible or non-matching or missing signatures on your paper ballot. And so um, what it does, it sets up a two-tiered a two system for whether or not the signature is missing and whether or not the signature is illegible or it doesn't match for some reason. And so it says that the uh, ballots that have no signature, they can only be cured. In other words, they can only, they only have time to contact the voter until seven o'clock on election day. And so this is not good for many voters because not all voters read English and our ballots are in English and Spanish and nothing else. And so, um, this was actually a, an issue that the Navajo Nation sued the state of Arizona in the past because apparently many Navajos don't sign their ballots because they can't read um, English or Spanish and it's not written in their native language and there's no interpreters to tell them that, hey, you need to sign this. And so if you're a voter who likes to fill out the early void ballot but then wants to drop it off into a uh, at an election center on election day, they only have until seven o'clock that night to find you to get a signature on that ballot uh, or your vote will not be counted. Uh, but if your signature is messy or um, it doesn't match what they have on file, they have five days to do that. And so it sets up a differential system and the Navajos actually even sued the state over this and won a few years ago. And what this does is it codifies uh, the bad practices of the past uh, that the, the Navajo sued against. And so 1003 is a bad idea. It discriminates against certain populations. And we should have a, we should have a uniform system about curing signatures, not say, this is what we do for the ones that are missing, this is one of the news that are kind of messed up. And so um, another bill that was passed by the Republicans today was 1714, 1714. And so this is about campaign finance. And so this is somewhat of a transparency bill, which I think is a good idea for transparency. But what it says is that it is on your campaign materials, you have to use 10% of the, the space, like for example, 10% of a, a postcard that might just be this big, has to have a disclosure on not only who paid for it, but what percentage was from out-of-state funds. Now, <clears throat> I like to know what percentage of somebody's campaign finance uh, is from out-of-state funds, but to have it uh, calculated and put on every piece of literature or every sign um, for that point in time, like on October 3rd, you had 27% of your funding for that postcard coming from this particular out-of-state pack, that's going to be a nightmare of record-keeping. It makes me glad that I'm a clean elections candidate. And so um, I think it'd be hard to do. It'd be hard to track. There's going to be all kinds of compliance uh, complaints against uh, this, but uh, they passed it. <laughs> so um, another one that was passed today is an attack on the Citizens Initiative. This is 1105. This one says that they can have up to 200 words to explain it. So if you're following the Citizens Initiative court cases, you know that they're often sued over the description. So this allows the description to be 200 words rather than 100 words. And so um, 
the problem with this one is that there's also a bill, which is 1531, that says that anybody who's collecting signatures has to read the entire description of the bill to every person. So if you make it longer, 200 words, people are not going to stand there and listen to you read 200 words because that'll take them a couple minutes. And so bad bills all the way around, but you know what? The Republicans keep passing them. So did you know that they were going to take away your right to vote? I didn't either.